Hi, everyone, this video provides 6 methods to fix the Windows 1124H2 installation error code 0x8007000 0x4002F. Method 1. Reformat the USB drive. Launch Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Select the partition of the USB drive. Click Format Partition from the left panel. Select NTFS from the File System drop-down menu. Set Partition Label and Cluster Size. Click OK to continue. Click Apply and Yes to execute the change. Click OK to confirm. Method 2. Convert GPT to MBR. Launch Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Select the USB from your disk map. Click on Convert GPT Disk to MBR Disk. Click on Apply and Yes to execute the conversion. Click OK to confirm. Method 3. Check the disk errors. Press Win and S to open the search window. Type CMD in the search bar. Right-click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Then click on Yes in the UAC window to confirm it. Type the on-screen command and hit Enter. Replace letter G with the drive letter that you want to check on the disk. Method 4. Check System Files. Run Command Prompt with Admin Rights. Type the SFC slash scan now command and hit enter. Restart your PC to check whether the error is fixed. Note, if the SFC scan doesn't work, run the on-screen DSM commands in the elevated command prompt window to continue repairing system files. Method 5. Increase your disk space. Launch Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Choose your partition. Click Extend Partition from the left panel. Click the down arrow to select a partition. Move the blue slider to decide how much free space you want to take. Click OK to continue. Click Apply and Yes sequentially to apply the changes. Click OK to move on. Method 6. Delete all partitions. Press the Win and R keys to open the Run dialog box. Type Disk Part in it and press Enter. Then click on Yes to open the tool in Command Prompt. Type List Disk and press Enter. Type Select Disk 2 and press Enter. Replace Number 2 with the disk number of the disk you're ready to clean. Type Clean and press Enter.
Thanks for watching. For more information, please leave comments or contact us via support at minitool.com.